Retro Star Trek action figures by Playmates. The story of the Playmates 90s line really hasn't been told in any great detail, I'd say. Wow, suddenly there's Star Trek Next Generation figures and they look pretty cool. Hopefully this will kind of help people understand their collections more or even remind them of things they had. In its own way, researching for this documentary has been a little bit like archaeology. Their sculpts were good enough that they would appeal to adult collectors, yet they were toyetic enough that kids could still play with them. I think our documentary is presently the most comprehensive documentary on the Playmates action figure line that exists. This documentary I wish was longer because there are so many things in it that I didn't know. Um, I've been waiting for the second part to come out since the first part ended. I think finding uh, a story is often about getting in touch with people's nostalgia. Uh, images from magazines and toy shows uh, are all very exciting to uh, an archivist uh, like me. There's been a community on Facebook of collectors who have been very generous with their time and their images and uh, really they're, they're, they're sort of shared uh, knowledge and some of the older collectors who were around in the 90s have been a fantastic source of, uh, of information. And there's a lot of stuff in it that I have never heard before and as a fan anticipating the figures coming out to actually see there was so much that I missed mainly because it was pre-internet age um, is amazing to be able to see all this information gathered together in the, in the same spot. Having such an intimate knowledge of the line myself, I was able to really uh, talk about the issues that were pertinent to those hardcore collectors. My most challenging voice acting role so far would actually have to be this project. The reason for that is, as I'm sure everyone would know, Star Trek has a lot of characters with very complex names. So making sure I get the pronunciation right on those has been very challenging. And although the film itself was both a critical and commercial success, the toy line was not as well received by collectors. The production of the documentary and the photos is embarrassingly low tech. Uh, the photos were taken using an iPhone 12. The challenge of photographing these action figures can be, uh, it is very time consuming, laborious uh, work. And trying to, uh, you know, bring some life to these uh, static figures. Well, being part of this project has been fantastic. It's just great to really teach people about the figurines that they've grown to love. I mean, it's such a nostalgic thing for so many people and it has a really big attachment to it. The Playmates documentary is very relevant for collectors because there's nothing like it online. Our documentary has been the product of a lot of research, a lot of hard work and passion from everybody involved and uh, we hope you enjoy it. Mm -hmm.